I'm Timothy, your host for Precision Assistance. Today, we're going to assist you in installing a maintenance kit for the HP Cone Laser Jet 4600, 4610, and the 4650. Now, at any point during this video, if you have any questions regarding this install, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-323-9523 or visit us online at precisionroller.com. Stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Precision Assistance. The HP Cone Laser Jet 4600 was introduced in May 2002. Now, at some point, you may have had the question, when should I install a maintenance kit? Well, HP recommends a new maintenance kit should be installed after every 150,000 pages printed. Your HP Color Laser Jet 4600 will help you remember this by displaying a message on the control panel stating, Replace Fuser Kit. Now, even though 150,000 pages is a great recommendation, you may need to install a maintenance kit more often depending on your printing conditions. Now, the Precision Roller HP Color Laser Jet 4600 maintenance kit includes a complete fuser assembly, a pickup roller and separation pad for tray one and two pickup rollers for tray two. Turn the power off and unplug the power cord from the printer. Using the side handles, open the top cover. Caution, if you've been using the printer, the fuser section will be hot. Please allow the fuser to cool for at least 30 minutes before removing it. Find the two blue thumb screws and completely loosen both thumb screws to release the fuser. Grasp the ends of the fuser and pull it straight up and out of the printer. Grasp the sides of the fuser and align the fuser to the empty fuser slot in the printer. Then push the fuser firmly into the printer. Tighten the two blue thumb screws to lock the fuser into place. Remove the paper tray from the printer and any paper in the tray. Locate the two white locking clips on the top, close to the front of the paper tray. Once you locate them, twist the two locking pins to unlock them. When both of the white locking clips are unlocked, lift them up from the paper tray and remove them. Gently rotate the front cover forward and downward to release it from the two tabs holding the bottom of the front cover in place. Find the blue roller snap on the tray below the tray 2 pickup roller and with a small standard screwdriver, gently push on the blue roller snap down to release the tray 2 pickup roller. Remove the tray 2 pickup roller from the paper tray by pulling it straight up and out. Find the separation pad directly below the tray 2 pickup roller and with a small standard screwdriver, push outward. Pry the separation pad up and pull forward to remove it. Install the new separation pad and press down firmly on both sides to lock the pads into place. Install the new tray 2 pickup roller onto the shaft. Press the blue roller snap firmly to lock the pickup roller into place. To replace the front cover of the paper tray, line up the slots of the bottom of the front cover with the tabs of the bottom of the paper tray. Then rotate the front cover upward and into place. Reinstall 
the two white locking clips and twist them until they lock. Replace the paper in the paper tray. Slide the paper tray into the printer. Open the top cover. Grasp the green handle on the transfer unit and pull it down. The front cover will open as you pull down the transfer unit. Remove all four of the toner cartridges by grasping the blue handles on each side of the toner cartridge and pulling them straight out of the printer. Locate the Tray 2 cassette pickup rollers, which you will find locked onto the metal shaft. Grasp either of the two pickup rollers firmly and pull them up to unclip from the metal shaft and remove them from the printer. Repeat the process for the other pickup roller. Install a new pickup roller onto the metal shaft by lining up the peg on the bottom of the roller with either of the holes of the metal shaft. Press the new pickup roller firmly until it snaps into place. Repeat the process for the second roller. Install all four toner cartridges. Grasp the green handle on the transfer unit, pull it straight up, and close the top cover. Press the check mark button to enter the menus. Press the down arrow button to highlight configure device. Press the check mark button to select configure device. Press the down arrow button to highlight resets. Press the check mark button to select resets. Press the down arrow button to highlight reset supplies. Press the check mark button to select reset supplies. Press the down arrow button to highlight new fuser kit. Press the check mark button to select new fuser kit. Press the down arrow button to highlight yes, press the check mark button to reset the fuser count. Thanks for watching this instructional video on how to install a maintenance kit for the HP Color Laser Jet 4600. The maintenance kit is available online at precisionroller.com. There's a link inside the description of this video if you would like to purchase this kit or to visit our website. I'm Timothy for Precision Assistance, and you've just been assisted! Precision Assistance!